Hello everyone, this is Mary Ann with Akashic Inspirations and this is going to be our monthly Love to Row reading for the sign of Libra. Uh, so Libra, we're going into the Taurus energies with five planets in retrograde. Coming along May 1st is Beltane. So it is the, the fires of purification and then the rebirth the following day. Um, and denoting the animals and the, the pregnancies and uh, the growth of the flowers, the blossoming as we head from spring into um, the summer months. So I thought I would use the Celtic trail that I have. It's called Journey into the Hidden Realm uh, by Barbara Moore and the art is by Julia Jeffries. So, um, Jeffrey, excuse me. Um, so what are we coming into? We've got the new moon on the 6th uh, in Taurus with a grand uh, Earth trine with Venus in Taurus, uh, Jupiter in Virgo, and Pluto in Capricorn. So very, very much about um, being solid, being uh, grounded, doing things methodically, um, which I think goes along with the Libra energies. Um, it is also a moment to be able to complete things that you have been putting off or things that have been going on for a while. And this is the final round of those karmic issues to be able to review and really weed out the things that you don't want and be able to release them and let them go. So if you feel that you need a private reading, you need something special, you need a healing, um, you want to get more insight into your shadow work or your blockages or, you know, where you're going from here, then feel free to visit my website, akashicinspirations.com, and it'll be posted in the links below. And I just want to thank everyone for liking and subscribing and following me on Facebook. And um, my live streams on Facebook have been a um, great joy to me, really, to, to share with you and expand in my role as spiritual teacher. So I just did the full moon in Scorpio ceremony, which was I was guided to do. And it was it was marvelous, really was. I, I really enjoyed it. You can if you didn't get to see it, you could catch the replay on my page, Akashic Inspirations. All right, Libra. So the reason one of the things that I like about the six, I actually like the back of the cards. I like that it looks like a dragon. And I, it seems balanced to me. So, uh, you know, we've got the center pivotal point here and then the reflections on either side kind of reminds me a little bit of the Libra energies. So let us see what uh, wants to come through for the Love to Row reading for the month of May for my friends in the sign of Libra. Ask my angels and guides to protect and to give us the messages for us. Okay. So here we have the number 16. It's called the Blasted Beach Tree. And this is, in the normal tarot, the Tower card. So it looks like we start with a great shakeup for you guys this month. Um, but it's nothing. It, it seems that you're going to find yourself off balance and uh, kind of flying through the air. Then we have the Hermit. And we have the Page of Swords. So a lot of thinking. Oops. Then we come into the star, which I love that it's right beneath the tower card. And a reason for celebration, the three of cups. So it looks like, oops. Then we have the five of cups with some kind of scary energies there, but that's okay. We look at the lessons that we're gaining. Queen of Wands. It's kind of a little bit of everything, don't we? Swords. Oh, we're just missing some pentacles. And we have Ten of Cups. Beautiful. And we have Life Renewed with the Judgment. Wow. Okay. Looks some, like some pretty incredible transformational energies going on here. All right. So let's, let's look at the cards a little bit. We have one, two, three, four of the cards are major arcana. One sword, two cups, 
three cups, three cups and a wand. Okay, so, all right, let's start with the blasted beach, which is crazy. All right, so here we've got this couple, and they've fallen from the heights of this tree, This br the branches that they were out on. They were out on a limb, and it didn't hold them, and now they're coming down. So when your scales are off balance, it can tip over. And when that happens, even though we may be at the, the darkest place or the, the place of where we think we are in despair, when you're in the free fall, right, there is a surrender to what your fate will be because you have no control over it. And Libra likes, likes that control, wants to be the one who determines what is coming into balance and, and what um, uh, the emotional control, the uh, mental control. So all of that, unfortunately, is going to have to, is gone by the wayside at the beginning. So that fiery energy of Beltane, this is what it's producing. But in these moments, when you find yourself in complete surrender is when you get the greatest inspirations, the greatest understandings, the greatest aha moments, if you will. And I'd like to read just a little. I normally don't read too much from the book, but these cards are very interesting. And I like the way that she describes what it is that she has painted. Okay, so it says, A moment ago they were sitting far above the earth in the lofty boughs of their beloved tree. It was their home. They devoted so much of their lives to nurturing it as well as they could and getting to know every branch. Over the seasons they learned its ways and loved its ever-changing beauty. They planned on staying here forever happy and safe above the earth. They had weathered storms before, and now, but as time passed, they believed to be their, their tree to be immune. Then the unthinkable, the unbelievable happened. They felt the rush of air deafen their ears and tear their hair even before they heard the crack. Their eyes moved frank, frank frantically in the few seconds that lasted between the crashing branches and the fast approaching earth. Before they even knew what happened, their world would change forever. So the beech tree is a symbol of hard-worn, uh, ancient knowledge, hard-won wisdom. And at, at the end of this, as, as something comes to an end, is when by a realization or a revelation. So you're being drawn to look at your belief systems and to see what, what new role you're being asked to play. And once you get over the shock of what's going of what's happening in your life, then you'll start to determine by seeking within the meaning of this for you and how you, what you need to do to be able to recuperate some of your balance. And one of the things here, we've got the Page of Swords, who is this young person. And it's interesting because her gown is see-through, so she's bared to the world. Her heart is open. However, she's looking down in disappointment, it seems, and some, some sadness. And she seems to be caught up in some brambles here, right, in these vines. So she needs to see about using that sword, which is in her hand. So you have the instruments in your, in your possession that you need to cut away and open a space for yourself and open yourself up. And that cutting away of those old things 
um, leads you into a sense of renewed innocence and childlike wonder. So here we see the boy in the card, the star, uh, just mesmerized by this white butterfly. And it seems like there's just stars twinkling all around him. So this is the card of hope. So your hope comes alive again. And when your hope comes alive, you find the place in community and family and loving support to celebrate. To celebrate your life, that you're alive, that you are well, and that you're able to acknowledge in gratitude everything and that loving support that you have by your side and that you have angels, guides, family, soul family around you that is willing to celebrate your ability to overcome these great ch transformative changes in your life. We cannot let ourselves be drowned in our emotions, right? Um, they're like wild horses. We can't let the wild horses drag us away. And we, and it looks like because we have this beautiful support, this fear or these drowning in sorrows she sees she's looking towards the support and love of family, which is then looking at hope, right? And so as you release these, these sorrows, this change and fluctuation of your emotions, you find you become strong. And here is the Queen of Wands. You find your passion. You find what is important to you. You find those that are truly um, make your heart sing, make you tingle with anticipation, makes you feel alive, makes you feel on fire. Right? And then comes the Ten of Cups. When you find that, then you find the satisfaction, the emotional satisfaction, the physical satisfaction, the mental satisfaction, and the essence of who you are as an emotional uh, essence of emotions of love, of unconditional love, and the person who really is um, creating and fermenting something just from the all of the experiences that you have had. And when we do that, we come into life renewed. We are born again. We are given the opportunity of the seed of the acorn to become a great oak, to be grounded in the prosperity to walk forth in innocence and to really know what is our purpose, what is our passion, what is our life's journey, what we were sent to earth to do. And we're given the opportunity to renew ourselves and to start the spiral at a higher place. We're almost to the end of the completion of the cycle here with the 20 going into, um, I want to say 2017 because 2016 breaks down to the number 9 and 2017 is the number 10, is the completion, the Alpha and the Omega. So this year is about the realization and completion so that the new can enter and you can be renewed. Your spirit can be renewed and your passion for what are your priorities, what is your hope, what is your joy. And that is found by going within and seeking to cut out the things that no longer serve and bringing things into balance. Wow, very intense month for you. So. Um, 
I urge you to join my live streams on Saturdays at 7.30 p.m. on Facebook because I do give messages. Um, I do pull some free reading cards. So if you feel that um, you need that extra help, then just go to my my uh, my website and, and book a reading. I try and keep everything reasonably priced so that it's within the reach of, of the many. And that is my service. That is my mission. Well, I wish you blessings of fortitude. Call in Archangel Michael. Call in your angels and guides to assist you through this time of transformation. And know that when you come out the other side, you will be a renewed being. I send you many blessings, Libra. Namaste.